Eho mai kaike. Everyone. Behold, my luna my Onamea Huna no hell Onamele The vibrations, the songs there. Eho my Coming to us. Eho my Eho my Eho my Kaike My Luna my O na meha, o na no hiao, o na mele, e ho mai, e ho mai, e ho mai, e ho mai kaike, mai luna mai, o na meha, o na no hiao. O na mele, e ho mai, e ho mai, e ho mai. Everybody go. Mm. It's a vibrations. Okay. Basically, the chant says, "Behold, e ho mai kaike, mai luna mai, coming from above." O na the Hawaiian word for the kind, everything above, below, this, this, our zone, this huna. The word huna means the secret, secret knowledge, known and unknown, okay? Onamele, the vibrations of the earth, the songs of the earth. Help us, a whole mic, come in and get in tune with other vibrations. We hear the winds from the trees, we get the waves in the ocean. We even get vibrations off of each other, you know what I mean? When we next week here, we kind of vibrating. So I also, if, what we think is asking us just to get in tune with that now. Today we're going to, um, you know, um, that's kind of like a pulley or, or opening his, uh, and then, uh, you know, this, first of all, some, all of these stones that we got, one thing about stone, you cannot grab them from any place. These are river rocks, but the thing is, you cannot only grab from the river. The thing has to touch the, the ocean. The river rock comes down from the rivers all the way down to the ocean. Once you touch the ocean, the salt water would baptize all these stones. That's why we only grab from the ocean. Okay, that's river rock. Then he released all the mana. Each stone has mana, just like how you, the spiritual energy, known and unknown, like in our in our chant that we said. Yeah, this this wood too. This wood is oh hi hi. Everybody say oh hi hi. That's another name for monkey pot. Okay, but it's a Hawaiian version of that. So all of these things that that we're using, all of the tools and stuff, we're asking you know for permission to use, to go get the the stone to get the wood, you know all of these things. In fact, we got a whole stack over there, a pile of wood we never even used yet. So, so, so today, the, in, in Hawaiian culture, the, the tarot is, is like, in the beginning, you guys have heard of the creation chant, Hawaiian, well, in the, in the beginning, there's Wakea, the sky. You see, when you go driving down Kahlu, you see the name Wakea. That's the, 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 the Amako, the god of the sky. Then you see the next street called Papa. Okay, Papa and Wakea. Is the Papa was the Earth Mother, and Papa and Wakia got together. They vibrated, had some baby born, but then the baby was born. Papa, you know, Kiki Alu Alu was, was soft, was born with fetus, but was dead. So they took that fetus and they planted him on the eastern, and up sprang the taro plant. Okay, then the Earth in the sky, Papa and Wakia vibrated again. Then the next one that was born was us. Man came. So we consider the tarot, the kalo, our elder brother, you know. And all of the words from our family come from the kalo, okay? For it's, when you get, we pull on tarot, you get plenty of little kiki. That's called oha. Many oha is na, ohana, the word for family. Now if you take that tarot, you take them and you plant them someplace else, it will come out same, like just, just exactly like how you plant it. You know, uncle got about 80 varieties of tarot in our farm. And one of the reasons I do this is my, it's not only a physical where you eat the tarot, but it's like a spiritual connection to the land. It's a connection that we have, you know, to our aina, to the land, to the tarot. That's why we do it too. And then we can eat everything. We eat the leaf, you know, we eat the stems, even get flower. We eat the flowers. 
So today I want to cook some, uh, you know, you guys didn't take part of that part and we cook some chow, so later we're going to palm foy. But the first thing too, because we're going to, I went cooked some luau, the leaf, and I went cooked um, the taro already. If you're going to add chicken, that's, that's the thing that's going to take us the longest time. So it's going to take us about maybe 20, uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes for kill this chicken, okay? If you're not into that, that's okay. Now, what happened is all over here I got feral chickens. Used to have, when I taught at Lahainolunu High School, I had almost 1,500 chickens up in Lahainolunu. By the time I left, only had two left. We didn't eat them all. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so this is one of them over here. I hate to kill this chicken, but the thing is, what she's doing is, when she lay her eggs, all her babies born, and, son, and from this, this one chicken, believe it or not, you can get 1,400 real quick. They're going to be digging up my whole taro patch. They're going to be digging up all my chili pop -up trees, everything like that. Now, I got chickens, but my chickens is in a cage, and I move them around. They're feral, they, they don't even, we can see that later. So I don't know if I should do the, the first thing we should do is kill that, then we could, uh, the chicken first. And then, and then after that we go out, cause that, that got a, you know, this chicken is old, probably about three, four years old. So when it's stewing chicken, it's not the kind you go buy, buy McDonald's and you cook them only 20 minutes and it's gonna be ready. So okay. The other thing I like to do too, cause I get some, um, some friends who are, who are native practitioners there, they save the feathers, they make capes, they make other kinds, they make artwork out of it. So we're gonna try to save the feathers, yeah. And then I try not, the other thing we're gonna try to do is not to waste anything. The only thing I'm gonna throw away is probably the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and maybe at my, even the head, I save the feet. When I get over 100 chicken feet, then I make a chicken uh, feet thing. Feet sour chicken feet. Oh, that's what I want. But you cannot, if you make it only two feet, no, you know, like even start the fire. You know, you need at least one pound. I'll probably get about 50 chicken feet inside ice in the freezer right now. So is that okay? So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to kill this chicken and then so we can get them in a the pot, yeah? And then we can, we can sit over there. You guys get stools over here, grab, and then we go sit over there. We just go over here next door. Let me go get the knife and everything. And we, let me go on back, because we're going to save all our feathers, yeah? Yeah, just bring this table. Are you sure? I got some uh, regular jiggy too. Are you going to do this No, 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 no. I'm not going to sit your room. This, uh, the, 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 this, I just brought some. You know, we're going to need the table. Yeah. I know. Before we I kill like two, three hundred at a time, we actually get cones and we line them all up, yeah. Anybody participate? Come over here. Just hold this, hold the chicken. Okay, I like you hold that, the thing too. See the handle. Okay, what we do, the juggler veins, just look at your body, feel your body. Right here, okay, is where the juggler veins cross. Okay, cross your body. You, with one poke, you can catch two one time. Okay, that's what Uncle gonna do. We gotta pluck some feathers because hard for cut through the thing with feathers. We're about to see a chicken get its throat slit. It's a very dark. Tell us where we are, what's going on. Okay, so you see, as you see. Georgie's farm. We're about to kill a chicken. How's that going? Uh, as you can see, this chicken got its throat slit. Okay. I see one little pulley for this, 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 this chicken. Thank you for your life and for you know giving us. We're going to use you for f feed everybody over here, so we can eat uh, chicken luau. Okay, amen. <laughs> so we can eat chicken luau. You hold them good, eh? I'll let them go. Ali's in a better place now. Okay. Try. Um, I'll check you another bag from the other side. Okay. I know, so see how this is kind of restaving re stay the stuff? Oh yeah, that's a lot. Usually, you know, if you are, some Filipinos like that, we save the blood and everything. You know what I mean? This thing, but, is, but, this, this, this thing is trying to get free. But the thing is, it has a, a, you know, a lot of what we call life sauce here inside of this thing. You know what I mean? 
Uncle has killed thousands of chickens, thousands of pigs, thousands of everything. Yeah, just the one, the one right there. Yeah, after it's... You just hold on to it for a second. We're going to need that in a second, hold on. Uh, no, you just let it out. I'm really you can, if you want to come and look, it's up to you. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. I just heard it. It's just, it's just drippy. It's almost done. Chickens take quick, you know, maybe five, ten minutes. Ducks take like 20 minutes to half an hour to die. Their, their life starts even better, more than a chicken. This thing is like flexing. I can feel it. I can feel everything starting to flex. Yeah, it's really? Weird. It's dying? Yeah. yeah. It feels weird. Bro. It's getting like slower and slower. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's dying. Going. It's dying. But the thing is, the heart is still going. The heart will go for at least another uh, 10 minutes. That's why they can run around. Yeah. Oh, I can do that so well. It's kind of yeah. Cool. Ooh. Kalama. I used to be able to sound exactly like a chicken. <laughs> sound like a dolphin. Like I'd be in my room, I'd all of a sudden. Okay, bring it, everybody gonna bring the chills away. We're gonna pluck all these feathers and we're gonna save them inside of the bag you got. Come close. Come on, circle around. You just gotta let them go. She's not dead yet. I'm gonna come a little bit. Okay. okay. This thing's got dead weight now. Yeah. yeah. You guys see uh, the drain that's plastic and to the comma? Okay. Edge, so it's on concrete and not on the plastic. Okay. So you, you see how beautiful these feathers are? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So somebody hold open the bag. Okay. Somebody with a bag holder. We start actually from the behind, yeah? And you go backwards. Okay. Should we start? Yeah. yeah. Throw everything inside there. We don't like we don't like waste any of the feathers, okay? Go. Oh, it's warm. No, don't <laughs> it just died. You can't hurt a dead chicken. Okay, all, all you guys get the good ones. All the junk feathers, I'm gonna throw it here. I'm gonna burn them. I'm gonna be actually plant on a banana tree. Come on, everybody, come closer. Bring it closer. Get closer. I don't like I don't like the feathers go all around inside the house. I feel like I'm torturing you. Yeah, yeah. No, just no, no. You gotta go down. Look, there's a grain. There's a grain. You gotta go from the top, go back down, away. Okay. Watch, watch how Uncle do them. Okay, watch them. Okay. And real, you gotta be like intention. Your intention is to pull out the feathers. Okay. You don't like being skin. Okay, keep on going. You guys keep on going. Yeah, grab this other one, you might be easier. Grab the leg and then, then you can, then at least you know. The drumstick for you, bro. Oh, <laughs> bro, I'll like eat them later. See, this is what school should be. Exactly. How to kill chicken. Well, this is, this is what uncle did in school. And guess what? One of the holiday teachers went turned me into the Department of Health. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look how nice Okay, yeah, he put in all those too. I just don't want to touch its ass. That's the <laughs> issue. I mean, excuse me. It's butt. Okay. Come on, usually I can do this in five minutes by myself. With 10 hands, should be in like, what, one minute. Okay, you gotta hold on to something. Like, hold on to the chicken and then yank. Yeah. Yank towards the head, you guys. Yeah. I just don't want to touch its butt. Well, you're gonna touch oh. everything. Oh. I'm just inhaling feathers. It's not the feathers, it's the down. Okay, yeah. It's beautiful feathers. Look how beautiful this is. Look at look. Try look at it. Just just look at it. See how beautiful. Look at all this. Say so, so what you do is go grab from the top and you go back down. See like this. Hey, you guys try now. Hold on. Like I was saying in the van, if a disaster happened and you only had the food in the stored, you would want to offset, make that stored food last longer with fresh food. You need someone to. Maybe you'd be able to catch yeah, okay. a chicken, yeah. trap a chicken. That's right, look, I use a rat trap for catch them. You see it like that. But you can, I, can, I can show you all kinds of traps. You can use snares, all kinds of ways to trap this chicken. And this chicken is pretty fat. Look, how you know? You see the, this is the bone. You see the, 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 um, the breast bone? Usually, if it's, it wasn't fat, it would be real skinny, yeah? So this is a nice fat chicken, so she'd be needing. Now, we never, nobody fed this chicken. This chicken has just been living off the land, living off the island. So this chain, chicken is really sustainable. Now, if I just wanted, the thing is, all of the chickens on this island, if you go, go all around the island, any ones you see that's live, and especially if it's giving babies, in order for it to give babies, it had to, you know, 
have enough energy to you know to take care of itself and make lay eggs. So this this chicken been living fat off the hog over here. Come on, keep on plucking, you guys. I'm gonna get the hardest part is to pluck is this part right here. The wings. Yeah. Best Somebody grab that. one wing. Grab one wing and start plucking the wing. Let me go grab the barbecue sauce. <laughs> No, well, actually, we, the, what, what we're going to do is we're going to boil this down, make a stew. This is stewing chicken. We got the luau leaf in cooking for two hours already. We're just going to add this in. And then we're going to eat at... Um... Sorry, I launched a feather at someone. Okay. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Guys, you don't even need to go home for dinner tonight. Oh. Ooh. That's how. You're starting to make me hungry. <laughs> starting to. Just, you just, you should grab some, grab here, grab the chicken, start yanking the wings off. You gotta, you gotta get intention. You see, yeah, intention is to pull off the wing as fast as you can. I'll help someone on the wing. I can't see the I'm here. You gotta hold. Look, watch, watch, watch her. Okay, watch us. Okay, try. That's the only way you guys are gonna learn. Okay, keep on going. We're not gonna pluck this. I'll pluck around the asshole if you're scared of the asshole. Here, hold on to the leg. Keep on going. As I said, the only thing we're gonna throw away from the chicken is the asshole. I can't blow my hand. No, the head's just dangling around. Noise. Just make sure the head stays inside. I don't want the blood splashing all over. You know, I'm just gonna give those big feathers to someone else. Now, this is called the dry pluck method. You can boil hot water, but after you, after you, if you heat this thing up, you cannot use the feathers anymore. So the saving is, this is going to a, um, one of my aunties. I mean, you know, who's, who's a feather a lay maker. It's going to make a beautiful feather lay. So we're not wasting it, you know. We take these off too. Everything going to come off. She was a crusty chicken. Yeah. Very. This is like birds. Starting to smell. Very. Birds what are what provide us of feathers. Pick up all these nice feathers that are just on the ground. Yeah, just put them on the side. How good is chicken leg, Uncle? Oh, that's easy. I, you, got, you never went to Chinese restaurant and eat chicken feet? No. That's the best. I could go make for you, but like I said, I only get 50 when I reach 100. Jaden. Yeah. Chicken leg. Oh. Keep on plucking, keep on plucking. All the feathers off of this. Come on, let's go. We gotta get this in a pot. It's gotta cook for at least an hour and a half. We'll be here for like three hours, almost two. Yeah, but it's time is passing already. It's almost four. Sorry, Uncle's late. I have to go pick up Linda. Cause she, uh, my auntie going to the airport tomorrow, and we got a, She's picking calamansi lines. We got, we got four hundred, three hundred varieties of fruits and vegetables. They had a order from Hula Grill. They wanted calamansi limes, so at fifty bucks up. Okay, all, the, all the junk feathers, remember we only like the good feathers going in there. Like, all this stuff like this, yeah, they can go in a bucket. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's these, the patterned ones. Yeah. I kind of don't want to touch this. Good, Stop bro? shaking it, I don't want to have something touch the butt. Huh? Brian, don't be afraid. That's okay. It's one butt. You touch your own. Now, I just want to show you something. You see like, right here? It's so warm. This is, uh, this is right here, it has a little, uh, it's a, it's a gland. When the chickens fight, they actually use gland. They can actually poke each other. But you, you see the legs there, and they fight. They're using that. They're using the, the, the coming out of here. And later on, I'll show you the rest. So it's like the thumb. They actually have like a thumb. It's like they're poking out a chicken in the, in the eyes with a thumb. Some of this is kind of hard for pull out, but. Wow. <laughs> so you like it every single feather. And then the ones get hard time, I'm going to actually go get on pliers and yank them out. Aha! You got, you're getting good, bro. What's your name? Jaden. Jaden, you good. You did this before? Uh, nope. First time. Okay, good. I mean, I've seen it on TV. That's it. TV? Yeah. I've seen it on TV. The big feathers are the hardest to get out. Yeah. yeah they did. Bad this is like the nicest way. This is this junk, right? Yeah, just junk. The down feathers are like get rid of. Anything close to the asshole, forget it. Because, you know, try to imagine now, can you make a hakule out of that? I guess oh. you could, I mean, but you know. You could make one, but it's not going to look good. Yeah, it's going to look all fluffy, yeah? Yeah. So the thing is, here, hold on to the ring. Keep on plucking every small little thing you got over there. I'm going to grab the, actually grab the head, look. 
Got it. This is the best feathers right here. The neck feathers. Okay. These are beautiful feathers. Look at the black and the black, you know. The black and gold. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> this, this smells like your grandpa. Your grandpa smells like one chicken. A dead one? <laughs> okay, keep on plucking all around. Come on. You guys grab grab one, uh, one other leg. And if, yeah, one guy grab one leg and somebody else grab one other leg. So you can split them apart. No, good. Yeah. I'll get the leg. I have gun blood on myself. Oh. Okay, watch out. We are. Uh, yeah, we know that's why this this bucket is for the choy. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna bury all the guts and stuff we don't eat. So you, wanna, hmm? you you don't wanna like put, you wanna like yeah an explosion like yeah bam. yeah. So gotta pluck it fast. Yeah, and you pull it down. And this is like, okay. See, see, this is if you're a musician like me, the best thing for do is pull weeds and stuff. And, and then when you learn how to pull weeds, you can pluck chicken good. And then it's also, then your fingers get really fast, see? And really accurate. You notice we never use water. That's the key. Don't use any water of any meat. Even when my uncle killed car, we don't use water. It's the last thing we ever use. Why? Because we're going to burn this. If you put water on top of this skin, how are you going to burn off all these fine hairs? True that. <sighs> Are you gonna take a torch to it next? Yeah. Yay. We're not for the fine hairs. Yeah. I'll gladly torch the chicken. Yeah, you like try to put the 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 gas tank over there, and then on the left you're gonna see one big uh, like one flamethrower. Oh. Like for weeds or like a small kind? No, for the for the for the, the flamethrower, like on the left. Uh, like you hold them, right? Yeah. Oh, here. It's very warm. Okay. It's a dead, it's a dead bird walk here. Except it's, it's not walking, walking anymore. anymore. How do you feel? It's being, unless it's by. Okay, come on, make fast, you guys. I think Heather's going to be very delicious. It looks like a turkey head. The turkey, the head looks like a turkey now. Because I wanted you all to feel bad. No, 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 no. You should never feel bad about eating. You should only, you know, you always got to take good vibrations when you're thinking about eating. Never associate negativity with eating. Yeah. Pretty sure that's how people get negative. Then, no, then they, eating because, because what you like to do is you like get good vibrations when you eat, yeah? Yeah. But you try to put good goodness into your body. So if you only get the. Uh, wait, I got to blow my, blow my nose, sorry. Can't be yeah, angry don't, when don't you're watch watching. the daily huh? news while you eat dinner. <laughs> That's the worst thing. Yeah. Coronavirus. I don't lose my appetite. Same. Ever? Mm -mm. Unless I'm like angry. This okay. Thing is that one <laughs> feather. <laughs> is... I'm get them all. I don't. Let me show you. Let me show you another trick too. You see right here too. A lot of times you see the chickens always go back and they, they go to the back tail feathers. What they're doing? This is a gland too. It has oil inside. Okay, it's fat. So what this is doing is it's touching this thing and getting the oil out and it's oiling all its feathers so it's waterproof. So it's, it has a system for waterproofing its own body. Okay. That's a naked chicken. Come on, have a, let's get them all. Every single, we need, we're going to need one feather on here. You know how they eat feathers, right? Grab, grab the wing and hold it. Then, then, we, then with the other hand, you can stretch them out. There we go. There's a, there's a, on the other side, there's some, some regular pliers over there. I mean, wrench on the other side. Next to the, on the shelf, there's a bunch of, uh, you're going to see the wrench sticking out. Is this a good feather? <laughs> no. We're lucky we just got it right before, after molting season, so we don't need to put too much stuff for bolt. Okay. <laughs> but I don't associate Chicken Little with an actual chicken. The sky is falling. Yeah. For him, um, with well, the, she, the thing is, you know, she would have laid all those eggs, but you see, you see this chicken, 
Did you? It's right over there at the bottom. Yeah, you got him. Okay. Yeah. Go just pluck as much as we can. Oh, I got the same thing going. And then what? there's a. You're gonna see the start on the other side too, yeah. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. Then from this, I like everybody move back about five feet so we don't burn nobody else. Right now. In about one second. And just bring the, the torch over here. I'm gonna um, gonna light them. Burn, baby, burn. Do chickens have like diseases and stuff? They do. Every living you know, it got more disease. So what? Um, humans. No. Rats. The lizards. Oh. Okay. Right. Now this chicken probably gonna wait here. Hold on, right there. So we get this. Okay. Let's move back a little bit, everybody. Okay. No, they got the 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 right there. You in where? Huh? Okay. And pick us some food so we can make juice too, yeah? A little bit. Oh, you got it. Okay. Oh, let me. I thought I had an actual. Oh, yeah, never mind. It is there. Okay, try. No, so you know, it's the propane. Yeah, I know. And then you light them. Okay, watch out. It's like hairspray. We should probably move. These are cool. The grass, yeah. Wait. Oh, man. Good. Wait, wait. Okay, give me the chicken. What are we doing? We're going to burn off all the hairs. So then you just dust off all the other stuff. Okay, what it is burning off, we take it off the other scale, see? We eat the chicken. It smells good. You like the skin? No. Okay, you had another, another bag yet too over there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put, we're gonna cut this chicken up and we're gonna put them in uh, chicken parts. One plastic bag was right there. Yeah, and inside of that, uh, check me on my cutters, like on clippers. Those feet look like dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, the clipper. Okay, the reason we want to do it now we clip off all the toes, cause we don't like uh you know bite on toes, yeah, toenails. Now, the purpose why we try to do this is so. Okay, then bring this table over here. Okay. So I put that back inside there. Okay, bring the uncle's knife over there. The chicken is still bleeding. Um, Lauren, go put that thing back, yeah? Sorry. Okay, now we're going we're gonna to bust this chicken down. You notice I never use nothing water. When you use water, that's when you add disease, okay, just, you know what, this one we're going to save in my other pack, bag. I get about a whole, whole not about bunch of chickens, okay. So we're going to bust this bugger right down here. Okay. This is the wing. You notice you never touch the guts, nothing yet. This is the indigenous way of, of cleaning the, the animals. I learned this from my great grandfather. And this way. Okay. 
Let's cut this all out. So you can cut this into smaller pieces. Like I'm actually very tempted. So we're breaking. So we break enough. Okay. What we did is we cut enough all of the different parts. This is the this is what they call a quarter. Yeah? This is actually the the the, the drumstick right here. And then this is the, the thigh. Okay? No, that's the thing. It's just the table. Yeah, when you hit the table and you make the noise, I was like, what the hell? I was like, how is that chicken alive? Okay. Bro, imagine that. The chicken stayed alive for being torched, cut apart, and feathered. Okay. What we do is we, we, we're taking off all the quarters, yeah, of the animal. This way we don't um, we don't have water. I just tell you how to field dress it. And the reason um, you don't want to add water is when you add water, that's when you you um, you know you add disease and all kind of stuff to the animals. And you save the guts for last, though. Yeah. Then that way, that see, see, that's the cue. You see how the guts never got in, mixed up with the meat? Oh, because you'll contaminate it. Right. And this is something called the bile. That the bile is like a green bag. It actually uh, helps you to um, um, to digest fat and stuff like that. Okay, now let me show you this part. Remember, everybody come close. This is the bag. Remember I told you there's a, there's a little... This is how it oils his body, okay? You gotta take that out. Okay. Now she probably gonna have eggs inside of her too because she's a female, yeah? Okay, hold on. Oh, I get my cutters. I don't need nothing else. Okay. So now, I'm gonna open up over here. We cut out the asshole. Remember I said it's the only thing we're not going to eat? So basically your whole body is one tube from the beginning of your body all the way to your ass. So what we're doing is you're just going to cut the asshole out. Even the, um, my grandfather used to fry the intestines everything. We never waste anything. But for today. Mm -hmm. Well, the kind of rubber, this chicken is going to be tough. She, she more than... The intestines are spilling out. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Now, in the front, it's a crop bag in the throat. So what I'm going to do, I like to eat the, I'm going to just throw away the head. We don't need the head. We're going to bury that. But this, you see the crop bag? Now inside of here, it actually gathers rocks. Because the cheat that, because the, even dinosaurs have this. And the reason they get rocks is because it's the teeth. That's how it chews its food. Okay? So it goes around eating rocks. You ever see chickens eating rocks? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what it's doing. So I just like leave that behind. Hey, hey. Uh oh. <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking. Well, now we can see what she was eating. Hmm. Got some worms in there. Look like the guy, she was eating dog food. <laughs> she was
She was probably eating my neighbor's dog food. That's how he caught her. We're using dog food. So I, that was just this mice eating dog food. Caught him in a cage, huh? Yeah. Okay. So now we got this whole tube from the beginning to the end. So what I'm going to do, wait, let's just save that part for right now. We're going to take out all the fillets, everything. This is the breast meat. And again, you're not using water or what's the reason? No. Because when you use water, that's when you contaminate everything. But you wash it all off later, right? Yeah, before you put them in the pot, yeah. Okay. And once you add water, then you got to start watering everything. You know what I mean? It gets messy too. Right. They're going to get slidy. All and the you... guts are going to get out. And right. The then the guts could mix up with all of the... Yeah. You know what I mean? Before we get any of that, we're gonna get make sure we get all the meat out, the stuff that we we can eat. Okay. Oh, shucks! Yeah, go see yourself over there. Just turn on the water. Sorry. Right there. Yeah, just turn on the water hose. Okay, we're gonna cut this in half. Cut them another half. Sorry. Just rinse them. We use your two hands. And water them on the plants so that they use, at least you're watering the plants. Okay. Now Costco, they, they sell a whole chicken. You don't cook them that way? You can, but this is this is what we call Costco. That chicken they got, those are called roses. They're only six to eight weeks old. This chicken is two to three years old. So the meat's real tough. Yeah. So that's why. You see how hard the bone is? Those chickens that you eat over there, they're not going to be uh, like this. Okay, now this is going to change into biology class now. Okay. Okay, here. This is the heart right here. We would save that. When you cook, chicken and you don't want a heart inside it has this will give you a different flavor okay right here this is the liver remember I told you the bile you see this green thing right there nope. that's the thing that will break down fat it's so strong but the thing is next to your liver okay now if if we crack that that bar right there we must have throw away the rest of the chicken Whoa. yeah because it's gonna now let me show you what's happening too this is the lungs right here you see this this light green? The lungs. The lungs we can eat too. Okay. Let me just get this guy out of the way. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna pull him back. Okay. Now like, like look, remember I told you you're gonna have eggs? Look at all the eggs. Look inside. Oh. Turn, turn it this way? Yeah. Big ones, huh? Yeah. She had eggs in there. She's they a female. They got small. Chicken. Yeah, they, they're going down every day. She'll lay, uh, you know, she can lay up to about 30 eggs. And, you know, and, uh, every day she'll lay a day. 30 eggs? Right, wow. before she can revamp. And once she lays the 30 eggs, you know, then once she starts sitting on them in 28 days from the last egg, they all hatch. So that's nature. So, and then she can, she'll, so she'll be laying these eggs for 30 days, and then she doesn't even have to, um, Worry. Because how many are going to hatch you think out of 30? Oh, shucks, I missed it, John. Can you eat the eggs, huh? Oh, yeah. This is going to be part of the. the that's going to be part of I ain't going to waste that. That's the best part. Okay. <laughs> the best part. Now, usually, my grandfather would take all this with a chopstick and he would clean out all of this um, this intestines. You know? Why uh, chopstick? Well, because it's small. Look how small it is. Ooh, oh, get one egg. <laughs> She's going to lay one more egg. Wow. Unreal, eh? Go ahead. Go with this off and put this with the other egg. Unreal, eh? Look at that. Yep. 
She was going to lay another egg. Oh, he's going to wash it off. Oh, yeah. All right, you, come, come show him real quick. Come show him first. Okay, now, so we got all of this, okay? So next thing we're going to do, let's take away the liver. So we're taking away the liver. Now, all of this actually you can eat, but we're not going to eat that. We're going to let it go with, along with the asshole. Okay, so explain what you got there. Okay, this is the liver. Okay, remember I told you the bile, but we don't want to cut the green stuff? Yeah. And yeah, come over here. The, and, can you hold this part right here? Just hold this right there. And what, what is the bile? The bile is the, uh, it's like, yeah, just hold it. So I'm going to cut it all away. The bile is the thing that gives it, um, that breaks down the fat in your body. You know? So it's a strong acid or something, I guess. Huh? It's not even an acid. The, the Filipinos like to eat that raw. Ooh. Yeah, it's really good for your, uh, make you strong. Okay, now this other part, remember, this is the stomach, but we call this the gizzard of the, uh, of the... Yeah, the gizzard. That's a combination of rock and food. Right. So we're going to cut all this out. Now this is, you can, you can actually, you can clean all this out. This is the, actually, this is the, the fallopian tube. You see with all the eggs coming down, it goes down, all the way down, it goes inside here, and then it, you know, it's another tube right next to the asshole. Okay, so... This is the gizzard, look at it, okay? What they're doing is they're cutting through rocks, that's why it's hard. But look, see that's the stuff he was eating, he was eating all kinds, of, you can see the rocks, you see them? The rocks inside of there? Yeah. Okay. And it looks like he was eating some ginger too. Okay. Something with the porous, I mean, uh, like that. Smells like ginger too. He was wow. eating ginger, this son of a gun. Ginger is good for you, right? Yeah. So it shows this was good for us too, because we're gonna eat this chicken. Now, ginger, ginger chicken, ginger. Uh, <laughs> now he's ginger chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, now. Shove a, shove, shove a chicken full of ginger. Okay, look. Now what we're we gonna do? The chicken's a ginger. Okay, you see, it's, you see, this is a lining. You see this hard stuff on the outside? Yeah. This is a lining. So what we wanna do is peel that lining off. Ooh, this guy not that easy. Some people leave the lining on, but then when you eat the, the gizzard, you can taste the lining. I mean, it's, it's like one big rubber. It's like eating one, one big uh, rubber band inside of your food. That, that doesn't sound too good. Nah, or like one tire, because it's, it's that's, that's strong, but it's, it's, a, it's a gland again. It's, it's like, you know, it's like sandpaper. So yeah, I'm just... It's grinding the rocks. It's right, grinding. it's grinding the rocks. It's grinding its food so that it can absorb the food into its body, yeah? Is that playing with the chicken? Stop playing with the chicken parts. I'm looking at the eggs. Okay. Still now I'm gonna uncle's gonna go start and then I'll let you guys get ready. We're gonna you we're like, gonna plant this star real quick. Not, and I'm gonna bring out the other pot. I'm gonna throw this in the pot that I got the stuff going and then we're gonna cook this for at least an hour and a half. Make this bugger come tender. Focused. Any vegetarians over here? We're all vegetarian. Okay. <laughs> you know, huh? They say pescatarian. Oh you don't you don't eat chicken then? No. Oh, okay. I mean, like, I'm I'm like very considering a cheat day. Like, okay, why? Okay, so we're gonna throw this in here. We're gonna mix this all out. Okay, and then look, I'm just gonna start cutting this guy up. You know what I mean? Now you can use a cleaver or whatever, but I'm just gonna make the shortcut style. How are you gonna cook this boil? I'm just gonna boil with ginger and garlic and onions. Well, I guess we don't need to worry about the ginger part. <laughs> well, it's got ginger inside of here too, but you know, ginger flavor. Yeah. And boiling is the best way to cook wild ham, huh? I would. Like, if you barbecue this over the fire, you see how hot, hot it yeah, is? I, I can't even cut the damn thing with my, um, my yeah. cutters. I imagine those things are very sharp. Well, I got my, I got my cleaver inside of the house, so I go cut it with the cleaver. But I just wanted you guys to see it. When's the best time to cook wild chicken? When they're two years old or younger or what? Well... The best time to cook them if you catch them. So, <laughs> we caught this one, so that's why we, we cook them, you know what I mean? But you can tell that's two years, huh? Yeah. By the feel of it. Yeah. And how long do chickens live? My chickens, I had them live 12 years old. Wow. If you take care of the chicken, and if the dog... Lay 30 eggs? They're going to lay, they're going to lay, once, they, once it's a lane, one chicken will lay from nine months out of the year. And then they, they go what we, we call molting season, huh? And then multi-season, then they don't lay, they just, uh, they're changing their feathers. So all the energy going for making um, um, eggs, because it's calcium, yeah, into making feathers. 
they're changing their feathers. Now what's the diet of a wild chicken? What do you think they eat? Oh, you're eating bugs, you're eating worms, you're eating everything organic. You're going, you're going to go, you're going to take the stuff with you, then you, I'm going to text you, huh? Yeah, you went well, you get, you get 10. You get us, us some too. Okay, thank you. Anyway, this is Linda, she works on a farm. These are the students from um, Bahia. And this is my, uh, my, my cousin, um, Kamanu. And then, what's your, what's your filmmaker's man? Okay, this guy's name again? Patrick. Okay, this is Patrick. Okay. So all of this stuff right here came from the earth. Woman. Yeah, woman. Okay. Oh. oh, wait, wait. Okay, we got to figure out. Okay, now this one, I want you in the freezer. I get one whole bag of food of chicken legs. So when I get uh, like a hundred, then I'm going to cook them. Uncle George, you got any garanka? I got galanka too. Uh, you do? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In fact, uh, we're going to need this one green papaya. Okay, let me just go try that on the stove real quick. Okay. It's uh, torso open. Took out things like its lungs, its heart, its liver. Um, and s separated them. So my name's Lauren Lapo. I'm with the Maui Hero Project of the Paia Youth and Cultural Center over here on Maui. And uh, today we came over to Uncle George Kahumoku's farm once again with our young heroes to uh, study a little bit about, I guess, uh, Hawaiian-style disaster preparedness. And a little something about farming, a little something about raising animals, a little something about uh, living off the land in a traditional way of life. And always a real honor and a pleasure to come on over and uh, hear what Uncle has to share with us. And, and the kids, they really love being over here and we, we always get to leave with a good feeling. My uncle is fast, you know, so it's, okay. Okay, what's going on? Okay, first of all, we're cutting up some onions. And we're going to put some bay leaf in here. And we're putting some papaya. And what the papaya is, is the papaya is a t uh, tenderized. we got some ginger and garlic. We're going to boil this for at least an hour and a half, two hours. The last thing we're going to do is eat. So that's just before we come. So we got bay leaf in here, ginger from my garden, and some garlic. And then to tenderize it, we're going to add the papaya. So what I'm doing is I just pick this green papaya. I'm just going to take off the skin. Yeah, the bathroom's right over there. And because it's so young, we can eat the seeds and all. The seeds are really good for you, for the papaya and all. What else can you guys do? Check go a little bit more over there. So you're not watering the driveway, you can water the plants, okay? Go a little bit more that way, to you. Over there, thank you. Now, you see about, yeah, let, let them go run into the, the, into the gulch, yeah, there we go. So you're not just watering. The water is so precious up here. Water is like $12 a thousand. County water is only 68 cents a thousand. We're 2,400 times more expensive than county water. Why is that? How come? Because we have our own water company, we're pumping, we're paying for everything, our own cells. People don't realize that, you know. Okay. And you're doing, you're throwing out the seeds, huh? Now we can throw the seeds in, but you know, some people don't like seeds stuck between their teeth there when they're eating. And you know, we can make a, we can actually save the seeds and make a green papaya dressing out of that seeds. But for today, we're going to use them for compost. Hurry up. Finish what you're doing, you guys. Spilling water everywhere. That's kids, yeah? All an endless resource to them. But the thing is, for me, you know, I got, I got 15 kids, one son by birth, and I adopted uh, 12. My wife had two, so we got 15 kids, so, you know. We used to do plenty of kids. Oh, thank you. I'll wash the bug after this. Well, you're gonna cook everything anyway. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. Let's go, you guys. Come on, this is like taking forever. 
Is it like you guys not county workers yet? Uh, three guys watching and one guy working. <laughs> so later on, we'll put everything back together. I said this, I'm gonna leave them big chunks. Give the flavor yeah, on this side. Okay. So this recipe, where did you get them from? This is just, I'm just making them up. But this is, a, I learned this from my great grandfather, yeah? I was raised uh, by Ilicanos, Filipinos. Oh. So, even though I'm Hawaiian, all, them, all my Hawaiian grandfathers all died when they was like 80s. So my great great grandmothers lived to 106, 95, like that. So they had boyfriend on the side of Filipino boyfriends. And all the Filipino boyfriends. Okay, yeah. Okay, done, you guys. Done. Right here, in a pot. Just throw the whole thing in a pot. That's it. Yeah, yeah. No, put the plastic bag. Put the food inside. There we go. Okay, well, let's show, just show you guys know what we got in here. What we got in here, we got onions, we got garlic, we got ginger. We put some papaya to tenderize everything. Bro, that sounds delicious. And we're not going to add a, and I got bay leaf on the bottom. So we're going to boil this for hours and a half. Okay, everybody get ready. What I like you guys do is put on my boots over there. Because we're going inside a field now. Okay, everybody. Right over here, there's all different kinds of food. The reason for that, so, huh? Let's save them, put them inside the, um, Put them on the side, we just rinse them off. I'm not going to throw that away, I think it can go on not a hundred times. And the color that matches your eyes, your fingernail polish. Okay, so tell us about cooking, uh, different types of cooking wild chicken. Well, this is one way, like, like okay, this is, a, we can use this as a base, yeah? And then what you can do is just make soup out of this. You can make chicken long rice out of this, you can make Thai soup out of this. But we, because we got the, today's taro there, we're going to make uh, uh, taro with luau leaf coconut milk with this. And the reason we have to do this first is because this is the thing that's going to take us the longest. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to put this on the fire inside the house and then get it going, okay? I'll be right back. And then Lauren, check, put away, check, close the door for the bathroom, you guys, don't leave the door open. Yeah.